Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Uh, for this edition of the program, I've got another one that I can't exactly say I stole from anyone. I did kind of come up with it of my own volition. Now this one's pretty much a no-brainer. A lot of you are probably playing it already, but uh, maybe I can show you how to expand on it a little bit and how to transition into a cool tapping lick. Now tapping I did not invent. It was already invented when I was born, but rest assured that if it wasn't, I would have invented it. Okay, here's the lick. Now, I'm not going to take the time to show you how to move that through the whole scale progression. It's really pretty easy. I think you can figure it out. Now first, let's take a look at an example of how this would be used in a solo just on its own. So as you can see, in that example, I was forcing the 16th note feel of the lick over kind of the swung triplets of the backing track. That's something that occurs pretty frequently in jazz music, but can actually really be applied to any kind of music. Now for this next example, I'm going to show you how to do the tapping. Um, I find this really difficult to do slow, so I'm not going to demonstrate it, but just watch the example and I think you'll be able to figure it out. So there you go. The only really tricky part of that is getting this hand over from picking over into the tapping section smoothly and cleanly. Once you're there, you got it. Um, it just takes a little bit of work, but uh, it really pays off once you get it, so enjoy. 